Here we are, another boss fight guide, and today we are playing Creedfall. Yes, a new game that's just been released, and we are taking on the first boss called the Unknown Creature. Now, first of all, I am playing my playthrough on the hardest difficulty setting, Extreme. We're all extreme gamers, aren't we? Let's get straight on into it. There's four of us, one of it, but unfortunately they just sit back and relax while we take it on solo. I'll skip the cutscenes. Now what I want to do is lay down two traps to take out his armor. Up the top there where his health bar is. He's now depleted, so now we can do more damage on him. What you want to do is go behind him. When he arches his arms to the left, you want to jump to the left. So again, while you're behind him, hacking away, if you see his arms arching to the left, just dodge to the left. Same when he starts arching to the right, you want to dodge to the right. In this case, I went the wrong way and he got me good there. So what I'll do here is I'll just finish him off with my pistol. If you fire enough all the time, he'll start throwing things at you as well. So just be careful of that. So we'll skip the cutscenes again. So there you have it. The first boss is down in Creedfall, the unknown creature. So look, this isn't a AAA title game, so don't expect it to play like one. It was made by a small team, so I'll support it. I've been enjoying it so far. If you like Dragon Age Inquisition, I'm sure you'll enjoy Creedfall. It has that old world charm, and it seems to be set in the Renaissance style era. Now the build I'm going to be working on is going to be the technical build. And um, basically, I'm going to be working on my pistols and swords, and as you can see, I like using those traps. So here's some screenshots. Love this place. It looks great. Can't wait to meet the other island with all the beasts. So yeah, don't worry if you don't like the game. I plan on adding new games and tips and guides to this channel. Please consider subscribing. Drop us a like, and um, yeah, thanks for watching.